So today I want to think about having a two-digit multiplication problem. A two-digit by a two-digit problem. So I want to think about that, but I don't really care what the numbers are. So I'm just going to put I'm just going to put tiles here without numbers on them because we don't need them. I just want to know what the categories are that, that are involved. So when I look at get the units multiplication involved in here, I know in my units answer is going to be units times units. So I can write that units times units. Now I have two ways to get a tens answer. One is tens times units. So let's write tens times units. And the other one is units times tens. And when we have a problem that's two digits times two digits, then the last multiplication we have is for hundreds, and that's tens times tens. So whenever you do a two digit times two digit multiplication, these are all the multiplications that you need to do. You do four multiplications. Let's take a look at a three digit number. So let's see all the multiplications involved in that. The first multiplication we do will be for units and that's units times units. So let's write that down. Units is units times units. Then we have two ways we get tens. One is, unit, uh, one is tens times units. We have units times tens. And then, let's see, we have three ways we get hundreds. Let's start here. We have hundreds times units. <clears throat> then we have tens times tens. Then we have units times hundreds. And then we have two ways that we get thousands here. Let's do this one first. That's hundreds times tens. And then we have tens times hundreds. And finally, there's one way in this problem that we get 10,000s, and that's hundreds times hundreds. So when we do a three-digit multiplication by a three-digit multiplication, these are all the multiplications we need to do.